I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this delicious crab boil. You can start adding all the spices and all the other ingredients into whatever pot you're using. You're going to want three tablespoons of Cajun, three tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of oregano, two tablespoons of cayenne pepper, two tablespoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of lemon pepper, three tablespoons of your hot sauce, three tablespoons of sugar, four tablespoons of Old Bay or your Creole seasoning. Then you're gonna add your butter. I typically use unsalted butter because there's already enough salt from your Cajun seasoning and your Old Bay seasoning. But if you want to, you could definitely use salted. And before we add our garlic, can't forget about the garlic powder. We're gonna want a half cup of garlic powder. It's a lot of garlic powder. There we go. And now with our mound of spices and mound of butter, we then add four whole garlic heads and our one to two cups of lemon juice. And once we have all that set up, we put it on the stove and then heat it all up. All right, so we're just going to heat this up until it's a full liquid. Because our Dungeness crab is frozen, we're going to steam it for 10 minutes. This has already been pre-cooked. If it's fresh Dungeness crab, you're going to want to steam it for around 15 minutes per crab if you do them individually. So that's three Dungeness crab right there. We're going to throw in the potatoes as well. So with all that in there, we'll cover it up. Then you're going to bring this mixture to a simmer to get it hot enough to cook the shrimp. Typically you want to use shrimp with the shell on. At this point to get maximum flavor, you can start to add in your Dungeness crab as well. Then you can add your potatoes and just mix all of these together to make sure that the Dungeness crab and the shrimp get a lot of flavor into them. Once your shrimp turn pink, you can add in your corn and just mix that in. And you're going to want to cook the corn just for around two minutes, not too long. Once the corn has been cooking for two minutes, you will turn off the burner, cover it for five minutes, and then it's ready to serve. And there's your finished product. This is probably the closest recipe I've gotten to the kicking crab, and it's absolutely delicious.